Today's Captain's Blog is made possible by Lizzie Plusa. Hi guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's... Stupid watch. 12.23. What the hell's wrong with my watch? What? Hold that a minute. It's a smart watch. Yeah, it's a smart watch. Hi, stupid. How you doing? The Samsung Gear S2. Um, we need some kind of heavy lifting help on the handicap ramp, please. So, uh... You know what day it is. You, you stay there. You stay there. Stay there. Did it fall down? It Hey Batman, yeah. will the Joe lift drive through the door? No. no. Shit. You have to tilt. Yeah? Alright. This, this was working, it just started sliding. Oh. It took turn a little bit. Okay. Also, neighborhood kids suck. Why do neighborhood kids suck? Well, yesterday as I was driving out with Joe to the dump, I saw two kids just get off the bump the bus and start stealing my tulips. They ripped all my tulips out. I had like 12. There were so many! Yeah, and they just ripped them all the fuck oh off. God. They didn't just take them, they plucked the heads off. They, ga they gave them to their mom. No. They're good kids. There's no stems. They, they left the stems. They left the stem and just plucked off. No, there's a tulip. There's a tulip. Hey, Moose. Let me see that. They stole my tulips. <laughs> this is for you because I love you. Okay. All right, so uh, they're grabbing some some pry bars, so we can actually. I want video. Well, the neighborhood kids they, ripping they the tulips out. Well, you might. They got a camera right there. there. All right. Still looking for video. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Look at that good dog. Look at that good puppy, just sitting there in the doorway, being good. She's a good dog. Look at you. No, you, inside. You, this is the line. This is the line. You stay. You're on. You're an inside dog. Aki, there's a big dangerous world out there. It's a big, big dangerous world out there, full of people, bad, bad people that are into liquor, loose women, and jabs. And it's awesome. You will never know any of this. You do not need a lifestyle of liquor, loose women, and jazz. No. So you stay inside because see those, see those big 3,000 pound bits of metal rolling down the street there? They're all driven by idiots. They're all driven by idiots who don't like you. Yes. So this is the line. This, this is the edge of your world. No, hey. no, you're outside your world. This is your world. This is, this is the place where there is bacon. And out there is the vet. Bacon, vet. Yes, you're a good girl. Ah, so now it's 12.26 on Friday, April 28, 2017. And our staff of highly trained engineers, geniuses, really, are working hard to ensure the safe transport of precision, delicate robot precision. components. Yeah, that's what we call this Take a moment and appreciate the smooth, professional camera work here. Um. Uh. 
slow down. We're on flat surfaces, yeah. Oh. Oh, too lit. Oh, hold that nice. nice Fargo wagon. That's the straw on the, <laughs> straw on the camel's back. Hi, Poopy! Riding on my cart. So today, I'm going to paint this. The funny thing is, I have to strip all the, all the paint off it, clean it down, and then I'm going to paint it black. I see a black weight and I want to This is the it. counterweight for the uh, Project Justin robot. <sighs> Hi, Moose. Hi. I like your dog. She's being good. She's good dog. <laughs> that was weird. So, you know what we could do? Uh, we could hang this from Joe Lift. I could paint it in the air. Or just the crane has a hook on it already. Oh, oh yeah, we could use a crane. I'm cool with that. Let's just leave it right on the cart and we'll pluck it with a crane. That crane will take the weight, right? That totally take the weight. That'll be fine. Everything's fine. Worst case, we just have to pull the pool floor out a little bit God, those rolls so nice. What do you think that weight is? About four? That's heavy as fuck. Mink and I could not lift it together. Really? Yeah. So it's more than five. Joe lifts. It's five hundred. What's the counterweight on a KR three fifty L two forty? Comment. Let me know. Probably. See, I don't remember when. I don't know. Let's pick it up a thing. What's the worst that could happen? We break the hoist. I picked up heavy shit with the hoist before. Let's, let's, let's give it a shot. How hard can it be? It's just just a piece of metal. I've picked up. Okay. You got to turn. You have the standard. Kick, you kick that side. end. There you go. So don't want to go the kick, you want to go straight. Oh, okay. Well, kick it. Don't, why'd you kick it so hard then? Because you told me to. And I, I told you to. Because you're on my side and you're always right. You're damn right. You know this is steering, end, right? Yeah, you have to, you know, just, just Doesn't so much with the steering. You want to do that? Okay. No, that's set. You move that, it's going to fuck up the set. Batman, Batman, Batman. We'll just move it. Because I can move it back. Turns out it's on wheels. It's on wheels. I should paint that. Now you're fucked. Hey, this one's on wheels too. Everything's on wheels. Someday we'll finish that damn thing. It's a high priority project. It will be the next time I'm blowing shit up for an abuse of power video. Is that done? I think that's done. Yeah, that's totally done. All right. Is that done? Oh, shit. All right. I'm so gonna... You finish the one robot before you can start that. I got one little part to paint one side of, and you I can... You know what's funny is that's probably the top part to paint. Yeah, of course, that's how my luck runs. Uh oh. Hang on. Ah, do it. Down. You gotta go down more. Did you run out of cable? No, but there's a freaking knot in my cable. That, that's at the end, right? No, it's not. It's like halfway through the spool. So there's a knot in the cable halfway down? It's overlapping here. 
Oh, okay. Ooh, that was fun. Ah, I'm putting, Give me I'm a putting a load on it. Take the load off. Loads off. What the hell of it? Oh, damn it. What is this shit? Damn it, boy. I don't know, we'll just cut and start now. <laughs> we'll replace it with a, a piece of rope. A hemp man. Hemp strong man. It's natural. You need. Oh wow, you do have that fucked up. Don't you? Yeah, like I, I, I don't. Because I just expected like a little overlap. I was like, how the fuck do you do that? All right, I got a plan. You just kind of hoist it up a little bit. No. Just gotta get it up how about inches. how about if we fix this? I don't know how to fix this. Well, neither do I. But we'll figure it out. Here, you take the camera. All right, I know what I need. I mean, there's enough cable we can just cut and start new. Oh, oh. my gosh, I They tried to have my circumcision the first three times, and I'm just starting to fucking life. It ain't doing anything. You got this. You can make this work. It's gonna be okay. I just cut keys. Alright, so I'm blocking my shot. Uh, which. I have no idea how to. Oh, that's how it works. Okay. How do I go? Yeah, that's what I want to see. Okay. That's, uh... There's like slivers and stuff on this. This is this is not happy cable. Yeah, it's under like three layers. So what we need to do. And this, that knot's been there for a long time because we never take the thing down yet from. Um, which is how this has gotten to be packed in so tight. If you fuck up my camera, dude. I'm just saying. If you fuck up my camera, dude. Stabilization. The shot looked great, just the rest of the world looked like it was shaking. Big ass cable picks, what I need. Where do you go? You are. It just appears. Well. Just gotta work some slack into it, like any nut. I want you to remember this video when you pick up that screwdriver next and go, "Who the fuck bent my screwdriver?" Who the hell bent my screwdriver? Because you never do that before. Ever. Come on, walk it out. I need to be really, really sure that's my active strand there. Are you him? Are you he? Salvador! Did you, yes. Did, did you just assume this cable's identity? No. I assumed it's gender. You know why? Because gender is a lot like the Twin Towers. There used to be two of them, and now it's a really sensitive subject. All right, so Where the fuck do you go? Okay. Yeah, I can do that. All right, so watch out. Back, back, back. The fuck up. I gotta move the whole thing.
need you to come out of your hole. All right, get on the end. Give me tension. Come on, come on easy, but give me a lot of tension. Hey, fuck, I know where I got a lot of tension. Watch this. No, get down to the hook. That's, you gotta, that's, that's the problem. Well, Hank, let me set this down a minute. Okay. people. Um, all right, let's put that on there. Oh, that's, why is that, why is the heat coming out? Go through all the programming stuff on all the units and make sure all the heat's turned off through all the building. What are you doing with that? We're gonna hang it up. We're just not gonna, you know. We're, let we're gonna it go put it on the thing. Huh? We're gonna put it on the thing. Okay. All right, all right. I'm with you. I'm with you. I got this end. What are you gonna do there? You can't. Don't do that. Don't do that. You're gonna regret this. This path leads to pain. You don't want to. You don't want to do this. All right. I just want you to remember. I said you didn't want to do this. You doubted me. Because we're not sliding. Stand it, stand it up. Slide. Maybe heavier than No, let it, let it keep doing it. Okay, so it's on the thing there. The issue is it slid off the cart and it lost. Oh, all. yeah, all right. Batman, you can't pick it up because physics. You have too much weight there and you're outside of its center of gravity. Yeah, you sure the fuck is. Okay, and when the center of gravity moves to a point past the supports on the floor, yep. shit falls over. Okay. Well, it tips sideways though, not forwards. So that was no, this is, this is a problem I have. I have the same, it's why I can't get an erection standing up. Once the center of gravity goes past the tips of my toes, you fall over. I understand. All right. It's standing so. up technically. You just don't get the bottom <laughs> side. You get that one and put it back on the robot. Yeah, yeah. So uh, let's let's scooch the the paper over. And so gotta, uh, it's stuck on the. I can't get the crane to do anything. We gotta figure out how to get up. Take the camera. I can get up. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Noah's bueno. That's heavy. Let's, let's go. Yeah, it's got the tension brake thing. What is thing. your bullshit? It's the tension brake, so you don't just let shit just slide down. Never engage ratchet on winch when using this brake handle. Okay, well how do you take the brake handle off? Okay, so that's how you take the brake handle off. There we go. Ugh. That's a bad sound. 
And maybe it'll and just pull back itself. Down to it, maybe it just pull itself out. Just it won't because because reasons. All right. Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh we just oh, fixed yeah, it. Oh bitch. Let's take it. Fucked up a screwdriver, but we oh, fixed it. Shit. All right. Um, unhook that. Which shouldn't be too terribly hard. I need more tension. Uh, or more release, not there. tension. There we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. All right. Now take that. Pull tension. Do it. You suck with the camera today. Do it. Do it. That's, that's not tightening. I know. Oh. I want you to pull tension. I'm pulling tension. God. Are we unwinding it fully? Is that what you're Man, trying? I want to take some shit out of it. Like that. Pull. I am pulling. I'm running, I'm running out of wall now. There you go. Pull hard. You know, I moved you and that counterweight for a whole two inches there, <laughs> which was terrifying. Fixed it, Jay. All right. Just go ahead and slide it on the cardboard. Go ahead, just slide it. Here, I know how to move it. There you go, part there. You're an idiot. I had a plan. How's that? How's that working out for you? It's got a pointed bottom. You lean it to one side. So it's I'm an authority. I have a pointed bottom too. You're going to cardboard's over here. Know. You know. It's chaotic motion. Hey, Batman. We're almost there. Aren't we? Okay, I would, I'm just saying. My plan was I was going to move the 10-pound piece of cardboard. We still got to get it on it somehow. Like yeah, but it's it it's in a it's in a thing where you can just. Thump. You're not going to be centered enough. Thump. You're going to walk it centered because once it's down, it's sliding. Okay. You gonna put another thing? What? Put another thing. Like hey, you're, you're denting my cardboard, man. You're gonna screw up that Gaylord. There's, now there's a dent in my, look at that. Just, now there's a big dent in the cardboard. See, it just... I don't know at exactly what point throughout that circus the camera stopped recording, but we got it on the thing. <laughs> So, you know who Paul Plusa is, right? Paul Plusa has a daughter who is this many. And she, uh, she is really, really, really obsessed with robots. Like big robots. Him and his daughter are watching industrial robot demonstration videos. Like, that's how, how much his kids are into robots. So, we gotta talk about robot stuff for her today. This is a thing. I like this kid. Her name's Lizzie. I'll be back. Chris? What? What's that speaker worth to What speaker? The speaker. Alright. You ready? Alright guys, time is 1606. And for Lizzie Plusa, I'm going to do something special today just for you. We changed a bunch of stuff on the robot when we took it down, and part of what we did was we screwed up all the mastering because we've swapped out a motor, we've done all kinds of stuff. So it's time to remaster the robot. Now what mastering is, is mastering is the process of telling the robot where home is. Because when you tell the robot to move, like if I tell the robot, move the plate here, you know, 90 degrees. Well, it knows how many steps to do that, but it doesn't know where it's starting from or where it's stopping. And if you tell the arm, to move in this huge complicated thing, the control cabinet doesn't know 
where the arm is if it isn't mastered. What mastering is, is saying, okay, control cabinet, I'm in exactly this position, pretty close, we're almost in the home position. But it says, this is a home position and this is where I am. So when you say, reach down three feet, that's okay because I know that I'm way up here and I have three feet and of clear space and all that. So that's what mastering is. Mastering is telling the controller where the robot arm is. And right now, it's completely unmastered. I've, I've deleted all the mastering data. So this is where exactly the home position is for this robot. Now, to master the robot, usually it's done with uh, a really expensive electronic probe that screws in to all these ports. If you look up at the robot, you can see this, and this, and this. These are the mastering ports for axis six, five, and four. And there's one here for three, and then there's one for two, and one for one. We don't have the really expensive little widgie bit. So we have to do this as best we can. It won't be like super dead on precise like the little probe would be, but it'll be close enough for anything we're ever gonna do. So here's how we do it. You start out at axis one, back here. Now this disc turning is axis one. Now I know that when this is parallel to this, because this is a big cast part, it's machine surface, so I know it's flat. And this is a part up here, and I know it's flat. So when this is parallel to this, I know that axis one is where it's supposed to be. I gotta do a little dance here with the cable. Okay. So I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm down at like 20, 10 percent for my speed, and I'm way up on axis one. And I'm gonna eyeball that as good as I can see it. Then I'm going to have Batman eyeball it and tell me what he thinks. And what I'm doing is checking two surfaces. I'm checking this against this, and I'm checking this against that. Does that look square to you? It's looking good. All right, so now I'm going to click Master, because I've got Axis 1 selected. So, boom, I've mastered Axis 1. Now we do two. This is way easier with a controller that actually has a screen. Yeah, it? it is. All right, so now here for Axis 2, we would line this up to this notch, but the notch isn't here anymore. That got destroyed. But what I know, and this is cool, is that if we were using the probe, it'd push in here and it'd touch the little thing. Now for axis like four, five, and six, I can't see that. But for axis two, I'm really lucky because I can see when that hole lines up to the middle of the thing. So I know axis two is right on where it's supposed to be because I can actually see the little probe inside it even though I can't use it. Now for three this is harder. For three we're gonna go up. I'm gonna lift that. Oh, I can go faster now. For three I'm gonna go up and get that right out the way. And now I'm going to get out my super high precision German engineered tool. Actually, it's a Swiss engineered tool. There. I'm going to pop off this little plastic cap that we put on there for painting and forgot about and maybe dried into position and a super bitch to get out. Ah! Batman, I might need your help with that. No, I got it. Okay, cool. So, I put a little cover on there when we painted it. And now, come on over on this side, you can see it. You can see the end of the little probe right here. That's the little dust cover, right? So I'm going to line that up right to this part here. And when that drops in a little hole, I know I'm there. So, we're going to come down. There we go. Finally focused. You see it? Yeah. Alright, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch this. So I can see when that's on the spot. This is an ocular measure. I'm gonna go. Okay, is that lined up? I can't really see. That looks right to me. Yeah, I'm saying that's good. All right, so I'm gonna master axis three. Now we have four. So the kook is right side up, so I know the arm's facing the right way. And this is where I'm gonna get some help. We're gonna go with. The close enough level to start. I'm going to 
hold that against the side because I got a vertical plate here. Now I need I need a helper. You want to be a helper? Yeah, yeah, I want Cat. You. Okay, what do we I got? need you to just put a finger on that okay. and just hold that against that plate. Okay. And I'm gonna drop our speed way down to 10%. I'm going to move axis 4 in the positive direction. And I got a good bubble. Now we'll take this one down and we'll replace it with this level, which is the super skookum level. And you can just hold that right here. Cool. And now I can see the bubble down here. And I'm going to go all the way down to 3%. And I'm going to move axis 4 positive. And it's a good bubble. Thank you, sir. So that's axis four, and I'm going to master that. So now we have axis five. Now this one's a little tricky. You want to hold my thing again? Hold that right against that plate. Okay. All right. And we're going to do five. It's going to come at you a little bit. Okay. Okay. We're going to do five in negative. Negative, yeah. So we're going to go negative five. Now you want to watch right here, the bottom one is our bubble. You can see that little tiny bubble moves super slow as we bring that plate into vertical. Yeah, it's not. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Looks good to me. How about you? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So now we're good in five. And now I need you to put that on the side there. Okay, so now we're going to do, we're going to master five. All right, now we're going to do six, and we're going to go negative. It's good to me. Now, can we set this just to double check it? Can we set it on top? Do you need a ladder or something? Yeah. I have a ladder. Okay. I'm going to take a step back. It looks level to me. It looks level. I'm going to, I'm going to tweak it just a little bit. All right, now step back and eyeball that off to the bricks on the wall. Does that look good? Looks good to you? Cool, axis six is mastered. Close that out. And the entire robot is now mastered. And thank you, Miss Lizzie, for your help with that. We'll be back. You can take that down. Give it over in here, take this. Batman, see that there where it says T1? Yeah. I need to know when that's uh, AUT. Yeah, all right. Okay. Oh, I don't have to do that anymore. AUT. AUT. Oh, thank you, Sam, so much. He, he fixed it. He replaced Sam, the key. Sam did that. He fixed the key lock. All right, start switch enabled. All right, we're at 10% speed. This is the first test run. No, no. Get it, get it. What am I doing wrong? Program reset program. Matt's like out of out of here, out of here. Matt. Oh, Matt's taking off. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna stop the play. Right. Mm. You ready yet? I think I screwed up her. I can't make a move. I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> wait, huh? wait. Yep. Something's happening. Are you in single block mode? It might be. That's running, maybe.
You're giving it a stir key. Ah, there we go. All right, we're moving nice and slow. We got our safeties ready. This is at what, 10%? 10% speed. Hmm. That's it, 30. We're gonna go back down to 10, because I may have to hit the danger, danger button. I see. That doesn't rotate. Oh, that rotates. No, I mean, like this. Yeah, yeah, uh, it, yeah will. it does. Oh, I, yeah. I am in a place where I can be killed doing what I'm doing. Probably want to avoid that. Yeah, I try to, which yeah. is, why I'm holding the controller in my hands on the danger button. They have what are appropriately called kill switches, so when you let go, it stops. Yeah, there's, there's no less than three buttons in front of me that make this stop. One of them makes it stop in an angry way. And there's also an emergency stop button over there that'll make it stop right away. Just not for the person who gets killed. Oh, so yeah, yeah, it's too late. <laughs> Well, the count's right on that Axis 3 motor we replaced. This is the first time this is run under its own command since we repainted everything. So this is a lot of testing that all the hoses aren't going to rip themselves off. Sure. Totally possible the hose rips itself off right now. All right, we're almost done. <laughs> this program moves every axis in every direction that it can move. So I'm going to show you the capabilities of the robot. It doesn't move them all to full length, but it moves them all a lot. Dude, this thing looks gorgeous in white like this. It does. All right, you want to see it at full speed? Because it just ran um, nice safely. Sure. There we go. Clear robot. Program reset. This isn't its max speed. This is normal speed. That's normal. Yeah. What percent is that? This is considered 100% of speed oh. with full load. Gotcha. But since the robot's running, not holding half a ton at the end of the arm, it can go way faster than this. It can go fast enough where you have to worry about things like it ripping itself off the mount. Oh, wow. So right now, that is set right where you set it. That is absolutely dead on. Of a degree, okay, a degree is like, you know, that much. Sure. Zero point, zero, 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 zero. It's that accurate. So awesome. And the cool thing is, it's holding itself in position there. If the brakes aren't on yet, they will, they'll come on in a second. It doesn't care. He can do pull-ups on that thing all day long. It, it'll hold that arm right there. I can do pull-ups all day long. I can even do pull-ups. I'm just guessing no, from your rough shape that maybe you've done a pull-up once or twice. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to cool. go deal with a Bitcoin customer. We'll be back. Hey, we're all set up. Today's Captain's Blog is made possible by Lizzie Plusa.